Hi. <clears throat> I am uh, going to make steak and egg pot pie. And I'm going to make a chicken pot pie with uh, the same recipe. What I've done is I've doubled my um, crust. Very simple recipe. It works every time if you get it right. Uh, for the two, two pies, what I've done is it's going to be the bottom and the top. I'm going to preheat the oven to 425 so I can uh, take the crust. What I normally do is instead of putting the crust in, it gets really kind of milky and yucky. Um, so what I do is uh, I put it in the oven for a little bit, let it sear just uh, a bit, let it cook a bit, and then I put the items in and then I put the, the top cover of the, uh, the rest of the items. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the crust and what I've done here is I've got two cups of uh, flour. Okay, they're actually sort of two heaping cups of flour. I think that's two cups of flour. Yeah, it looks about right. Um, two thirds of milk and I have um, about, I'm going to be putting in about uh, three teaspoons of um, baking powder and I'm going to put approximately two-thirds cups of milk, uh, pardon me, of butter, and um, two-thirds, that's quite a bit of, quite a bit of butter, and uh, about, I don't know, about uh, a half teaspoon to a teaspoon of, of salt. I always, I like to use Mediterranean sea salt or kosher salt, uh, which I, I like best. So what I first do is I put the dry, dry ingredients in. So there's about uh, a teaspoon, and okay, that's about a teaspoon of salt that I'm going to put inside here. And I'm going to put about three, three teaspoons, if I can find one, three teaspoons of baking powder. I, I fluff it up a bit because it's fairly hard. And I try to keep it sort of like a level, right, because uh, baking powder can definitely be too much. So I got three teaspoons here. And what I do is I mix those ingredients in first, okay, to make sure that they're all together. And I, I did use, t you know, really about two heapings of uh, flour because I want to make sure that I have a fully covered bottom and top of the, the pan. This would probably take care of a 9 by 12 pan and what I've done is I have a small casserole pan and a larger casserole pan and right now over here I'm just boiling the eggs. I've got four eggs for the steak steak and egg pie. Just open. I want to make sure that they're nice and hard. Usually if you bring, that's actually boiling in potato water that I used to do the potatoes. I stuck the eggs in the potatoes at the time and I try to conserve whatever I can. So, what I do is I'm going to add the butter. It's usually, um, let me think here, this is two thirds of a cup. So it's, it seems like quite a bit. Okay, and I, I've sort of melted it and whipped it up a little bit. Okay, let's put that in there. And This is what I normally do. It may not make some logical sense. Usually you can add your, your uh, what do you call it, your milk and butter in, but I usually put my butter in first and I let it peel up like uh, mix in a bit. Whatever I can get to, for the flour to grab the milk, uh, pardon me, the butter. My words are a bit mixed up today. So I, I, I do that and then I slowly add the milk. What you want to do is you want to get, and sometimes I might, I may not add all the milk and you'll see why. What I try to do with a good crust is I try to 
um, get it to a point where, um, and you'll see when I add, start adding the milk, it you you start creating, it start look looks it starts looking like little peas. Okay, it's already starting to pill and to do that just with the just with the uh, butter and the flour together, and then what we're going to do is add a little bit of milk. Sometimes you can add too much, even though a recipe calls for something, and you're wondering why is it not doing what I want it to. Okay. As you can see, it's mixing in nicely. And when you're done, when uh, it's nicely mixed in, okay, still got a bit more to add. When it's in that place where it's got a nice kind of consistency, um, what I do is I take it out, I put it on, uh, see that, that, that's about right. It has a nice kind of consistency. I, I'll take it out, I'll put it on some floured, uh, I'll put some flour onto the, uh, onto this, the surface of the uh, rolling area, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to turn off the eggs because they're definitely hard boiled. Where's my rolling pin? Oh, thank you, Jada. The rolling pin's where it's supposed to be. So I'll I'll put a little bit of flour on the surface. And I'll take my flour. I'll take um, what I've put together here. And remember it's got quite a bit of butter in it. And to bind it, I only need it about eight or nine times. That that's about it. So I come back and I'll push it in like that. One. I just want to make sure that it's all nice together. Two. Three. say the magic number is 10 okay because what happens you need it any longer than that and all of a sudden it gets really glutinous so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this into four little chunks there's one this is for one pie on this side and this is for the other pie so One's bigger than the other, so I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put this on the surface here. I'm going to go behind you and grab a casserole dish. Now, of course, the top has to the bottom has to be a lot bigger than the the top, so you have to gauge yourself accordingly. Let's get the biggest one in here. Oh, this looks pretty good. So hopefully I've, I've made enough. I doubled my normal recipe because normally I make a small pot pie for myself and the women in my life. <laughs> That's why all those women are lined up at the door. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're lining at the door for alimony, even though I've never seen them in my life. Okay, so going to make a nice thin layer. Hey Bruce, hey. how did it go? Well, I hope I got what you need. I got the chicken. Oh, right mm -hmm. on. And so 
so it looks like this is going to be maybe a little bit small. Maybe, maybe not. So there's a nice kind of pot thing here. We're going to put this, lay it over, put it on the inside and flip it. Now the nice thing is if you have leftover and let me just, if you ever wonder how you can keep, you can get the edges to stick, is just add a little bit of water to it. And those edges should come together a bit so you can pull and tug on it and, and it'll uh, stick a little better. See, there's that. So your inside pot is, you can, what you can do too is as you can tell, my uh, rolling pin job was not the greatest. And you can just tuck those in there a bit. Give it a big stretch. Notice how the ends are just sticking a little nicer. And it's no problem because you're dealing with just all kinds of food. Pardon me. Uh, can, this is going to be, you know, full of uh, different items like... This one is a chicken pot pie. So having, going and doing this and sticking them on there is no big deal because nobody's going to see it. And me not being the consummate pro as I'd like to be, you know, it's really irrelevant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it to the sides a little bit. So it uh, has a little place to, you know what, I think what I'm going to do, because this is so thin, I'm not going to uh, sear it in the oven. I'm just going to leave it as is. Put this to a brisker. That never happens, eh? Me being aggressive. What are you laughing at? Okay, so this is going to go on the top, and what I'm going to do is make this one nice and long. Try to corner it. I mean, there's people who are friggin' great at this kind of thing. Well, I'm not. I haven't made, you know, made a pie in a while. But I'm going to try to see if this will cover the surface of my, this one, that looks, that looks alright, let's hope it doesn't glom together while I take care of the cooking part, 